happy, happy Christmas Eve to everybody. I'm just saying hello to everybody. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas Eve. And I hope you have a good one tomorrow for Christmas Day. Well, we are in a place. Um, it's not home home but we're in a place we're not on the streets so thank god for that it's been rough it's been rough i tell you okay but i'll give you guys an update um whenever i can um whenever i get around to giving you guys an update i don't know when it's gonna be um i don't know i have so many mixed emotions it's it's just it's been crazy but I have to be thankful that we have a roof over our head. So Christmas is going to be very different. Like I said, this is Christmas Eve. It's going to be very, very different. And I don't even consider it celebrating Christmas the way we normally do. So, but have to be thankful. I'm going to show you guys the little decorations that I did. It's nothing hardly. It's nothing of what I thought I was going to do because I'm just not in the mood for it. And the place where we're staying, it's, uh, everything is small, tight and cramped. <laughs> so, but hey, it's better than being out in the streets, you know, like some people are. But anyway, let me show you guys what I did for our table. Okay, here's our little setup of Christmas. <laughs> this is a lot different from the big tree that I had in the house. But this is what I could grab, um, this little small tree. All of the ornaments that I had probably came off because we have a whole lot of our stuff in, stuffed in the car. It's real sad, but this is what, this is what we did. This is what I did, I should say. Well, here are the little gifts that we were able to give each other. And that's it. This is uh, Christmas. <laughs> this, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys. This is our little Christmas setup. So tomorrow we will grab and open and just be thankful for what we have. So I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, but some type of germ came on all three of us, so I'm not feeling that good. I hope you can hear me. Um, my voice is trying to come back, but it's not all the way back. I can hear a little bit of it before. You would just hear nothing but whisper. My husband calls me Whisper. He says, that's my new nickname, Whisper. Because when I talk, I whisper. Hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, I'm eating some pistachio nuts. It's probably not a good idea to cough, but I need some protein. And nuts is pro protein, so I'm trying to eat just a little bit of it. Uh, we're here again at my husband's appointment. And then I need to go try to find some cough medicine. Um... Everybody in the household has caught some type of cold, whatever. I don't like to, I don't like to say, oh, so and so is sick or so and so has the flu. I'm not that kind that confesses things like that. I don't say, oh, I have this, I have that. I just say some germs got on me, so I'm not feeling that good, but. Um, it's my park right behind me. 
I don't know why they're just standing there. But anyway, I'm going to ignore it. I'm going to the store after this. Try to get some cough medicine. Because I desperately need it. My husband is coughing. Aaron is coughing. But his is more of a dry. His is just about saying bye-bye. Sam's is pretty much saying bye-bye faster than mine. Me, when I cough, it's on a roll. It's very, very bad. A lot of mucus in the chest. Um, cold all in the head. You know, when you blow your nose. Cold, you feel it releasing from the head, which feels good because a couple of days ago I was dizzy. Dizzy all day because of so much cold in the head. I don't know if you guys know that feeling, but... It's terrible. <coughs> Sorry. Oh boy. Um I'm gonna be giving you guys a really good update when we actually get the house or wherever we're gonna move. We're trying to avoid going into an apartment. We don't like apartments. We will take it if that's the last resort. Um, but we don't want an apartment. There's too many issues that go on in apartments. And where where we're staying right now is um, an apartment temporarily. And issues have developed since we've been there. And I just don't, we don't want the apartment. So, um, this is January the 5th. No, today is January the 6th, I think. Friday, January the 6th. So I just want to come on and say, hey, I'm sorry I'm not able to bring you guys the home decor videos because I'm not able to decorate right now. But I'm trying to think of things because I have my internet of course you guys know that you saw my last video the internet is up so I'm able to post but not as often because of my focus is on finding a house that's first and foremost important right now hope you guys understand I miss participating in the collabs and you know makes me feel kind of down that I'm not able to do it like I need to, like I want to, but you guys have told me that, don't worry about it right now, we'll be here when you come back fully, I thank you for your understanding, but you just don't know how it makes me feel, not good, because when I'm not able to post my videos the way I usually do, it's not a good satisfying feeling, it's, it's not, doesn't make me happy, I like to be happy. See, I can tell my voice is trying to come back because you hear a little bit of the voice and not so much of the whisper. And that's good. But anyway, you know, I will be posting as I can. That's all I can say. I can't say when. I'm, I'm not on a regular schedule yet. But... I'm going to give you guys a whole update video. It's probably going to be a little long so I can tell you the types of things that have happened that you don't know. I don't know if I shared everything. At least everything that I'm comfortable sharing. Put it like that. I have more in detail stuff that I want to tell you guys. So... It'll be a sit-down, chit-chat vlog. Like, you know, not necessarily in the car. Wherever I'm at, you'll know. Also, I forgot to tell you, uh, January the 8th, which is tomorrow, at least for me, Saturday, we're going to completely move everything out of our house. Um, everything is pretty much out except for some couches. And then we're going to move everything out of the garage. The 
garage is packed with stuff. So I might show you guys a little bit of that, that process. Okay guys, this is moving day. We are finally moving out of this place. So I'm just gonna take you around the house. I know it looks kind of disgusting, sorry about that. But I just wanted to have, not really a memory, but just to show how it looked on the inside as my proof that it's all been, um, you know, moved out. And I'll show you the garage, but we are moving. Okay, the garage is all cleaned out as you see. We finally got all this mess out of here. It's just me and Sam here right now, and it's nighttime now, so we have to unload uh, a whole car full of stuff. Okay, so this is the last time that you will see this dreadful house. 